here we go. As promised, a review of this DeLonghi machine. I've had this for six months, so it's an actual usage review. And for the price, what it is, um, I've given it a really big thumbs up. Very happy with this machine. Uh, it uh, steams really well. Although I will um, talk about a, a change that I made to the steam wand. A uh, little bit disappointed with the group head. It's clearly smaller. It's, you know, it's got a single shot and a double shot group head, but the double one is not two shots. Uh, it's undersized from different ones, different brands that I've had before. So uh, that was a bit disappointing. But apart from that, um, good design, easy to rinse out and wash. It's got a little flip over handle here so that when you do rinse it and wash it, the um, bucket doesn't fall out because it's a very loose fish. So it makes it very quick and easy to rinse that out and wash it out. And you can remove these and clean them and so forth. But uh, yeah, good little machine. And uh, it has a built-in tamper here, which is, it does the job, but it's certainly not as good as having a real tamper. But for a starter, um, it's really good to have the built-in tamper there. The water on the back, it just lifts off like this. Just two hands, lift it up, and um, you can. This is a very handy little handle when you're filling it, holding it under the tap, and so forth. Um, that's been brilliant. And as I said, six months use that um, seal in the bottom's been really good, very clear, good capacity. So very happy with the design there. Uh, it has a heating rack up the top here, so you can put your cups to preheat them up the top. And this is the steam knob. Um, when you press the milk button. I won't go into the operation, I've, I've got one of actually doing a ristretto latte that you can see the actual operation of the machine. But uh, the knob, it's fun and good, like an old time machine, it's a bit retro in its design. So overall very, very happy with this. But I want to talk in detail about what I did to the milk steamer, because some of these basic machines uh, have got this, this piece here, it's actually the locking piece, I'll take it off, you can see straight through it it locks this in place. Now, this is the milk steaming wand, and I've got it so that basically it's running just out through the tip, which is what you'll see in a, a big proper coffee machine with a barista. It means you can control how much froth you're making, but with these cappuccino makers, um, they're actually supplying them with a big sleeve which comes down over the top with an induction hole, so it's always drawing air in. And I found that it was quite uncontrollable so far as how much um, froth or um, creme, well it wasn't creme, it was froth, big bubbles and froth that was making. So I made an alteration. I got this outer sleeve that locks in place and I chopped it in half. I just got a hacksaw and chopped it through and then cleaned up the edge. And uh, so it's still performing its function of holding this on, but it's not inducing air in I can now dip the milk, I can have it as deep as I like, um, bring it up to the surface to um, expand the milk or even introduce some air if I want. Uh, I've got full control over what goes on, whereas before I had no control, just ended up with super frothy milk. The milk was frothing at the top of the container and uh, it wasn't hot enough yet, so it was a bit of a mess. So that's a really good alteration. Um, it was a little bit hard, you need to hold the plastic, cut it through, clean it up, um, but that was a one alteration I'd definitely suggest if you get one of these machines or make one of those. Uh, apart from that, I love the uh, drip tray down here. It's nice and big and you can quite simply just lift it out. And what that means is that you can get big cups under here. So a proper size coffee mug can go in and even under the group head when it's on and uh, get a big size coffee mug in underneath. And that's really good not to be transferring the coffee around and so forth. So that's good, and the drip tray um, is still there, easy to wash, and I've put it all in the dishwasher, nice and straightforward, nice and simple, easy to pull apart. So there you go, this DeLonghi machine, um, very happy with it, and have no problems at all recommending it. Six months of great use and great coffees, it's got enough temperature and pressure to make a good coffee, so there you go.